Sparkling wine is such a delicious treat, but it's not just for special occasions, people. And if you're bonkers for bubbles, mm -hmm. you're going to want to check out these everyday junk food pairings from Jeff Graham and Mike Mateevich, a.k.a. the Sparkling Winos. Best branding ever, the Sparkling Winos. I love that. So, guys, I have to start by just asking, why are you so passionate about sparkling wine? Thanks, Tracy. Well, as the name would suggest, Sparkling Winos, we love all things effervescent. Uh, we've been fortunate enough to travel the world tasting and learning about sparkling wine, and we've presented it in our new book, Life is the Bubbles, an Effervescent Guide to Sparkling Wine. And sparkling wine was always our beverage of choice, even mm -hmm. like 10 years ago when it wasn't so common. Yeah. Um, Today, it's sort of becoming more commonplace in people's homes and on their dinner tables. But for a long time, there was a misconception that it can only be enjoyed at special occasions like New Year's Eve. And this could not be further from the truth. Sparkling wine is the most fun and uplifting wine style. And we truly believe that it can make any and every day uh, special and more exciting. It's also one of the most diverse wine styles. So yes. just like red or white wine, there's so many different styles of sparkling wine. Mm -hmm. uh, and we explore all of them in our book, uh, take you around, a around the world on a journey to all the different countries that make sparkling wine. Uh, and of course, share some fun tidbits along the way, like some of our favorite cocktail recipes and yeah. food pairings. I think it's fantastic that you're actually, like I'm seeing more and more wine, sparkling wine, all the different varietals sort of coming down to how people are eating day to day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know, taking a bit of the mystery away because there should be an accessibility. Now when you throw in pizza and fried chicken, hello, like you've got all of the elements of a good time, all right? The food groups. All the food groups. <laughs> so let's do our first pairing. What are we okay. starting with? So this is my personal favorite. And I mean, champagne and oysters are great, but have yes. you had champagne and fried chicken? I sure haven't. I'm okay. about to. <laughs> well, okay, so uh, one thing I want to get out of the way first is that all champagne is sparkling wine, but not all sparkling wine is champagne. Right. Champagne comes only from a small region in northern France, like Prosecco comes from a small region in northern Italy. Uh, champagne is made using the traditional method, so this is a lengthy process that results in a richer, more complex style of sparkling mm. wine with a lot of sort of biscuity, bready, toasty notes. Yes. Uh, and we find that this biscuity, uh, bready note goes so well with this sort of rich, uh, breaded, fried chicken. Mm -hmm. uh, also, the important thing to note here, and this goes for all the parents, is the acidity in the wine. So the acidity is sort of that mouth puckering feeling when yeah. you first take a sip. It sort of salivates your palate and makes you, sort of lures you in for another sip. Yes, you bad girl. <laughs> <laughs> because it's, it, you get it and it's like, ooh, it's just a little just happening a little and you just want a little more. bit more, yeah. right? So what acidity also does is it helps to cut through fatty, oily, salty, creamy foods, all the good stuff. Yes. You know, fried chicken, sort of some of the salty, some of those. Oily, fatty, <laughs> delicious food ever. Yeah. Um, so that'll cut through right, right through all that oiliness and uh, saltiness, and help to refresh your palate. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, lure you in for another bite. And the bubbles have a similar effect. So the bubbles lift food particles off your palate. Yeah. Again, cleansing your palate, refreshing your palate, and getting you ready for some more salty deliciousness. Mm -hmm. Think of it like a burger in a pop. You know, like a lot mm -hmm. of people want the pop to yes. cut through the grease, and that's what happens um, with this gorgeous bubbly and this chicken. It's so good together. Or like a hot, sh or sorry, a cold shower on a hot day. It's just like, yes. ah, so refreshing. It's just what you need. Okay, beautiful pairing. Let's get to our next pairing. What sure. have we got here? So with pizza, most people think red wine. Yeah. But we have another proposition, okay. which is Prosecco Rosé. I am I can get behind that. I love it. Yeah. So Prosecco comes to us from Northeast Italy. Yes. Uh, it's made in the Charmat method. So it's a bit more, it's lighter, it's more youthful. Uh, it's a bit more fruit forward than a classic champagne. Got it. Uh, and in this case, it's Prosecco Rosé. So there's a bit of a punch of fruit flavor, yeah, red fruit flavor. So that'll really pair nicely with uh, the red sauce on this particular pizza, mm -hmm. with the red meats. Uh, and for all the factors that Jeff mentioned, the acidity and the bubbles will help cleanse your palate of all those fatty and delicious elements brought together uh, on, you know, on your pizza from mm. the cheese and all the, the rich dough. Mm -hmm. And there's also actually a kiss of sweetness with this particular wine. So what that'll do is that'll complement the spicy salami very nicely and overall. I think it's a great proposition and, mm. you know, something we get behind with pizza and hopefully you will too this summer. It's delicious. And so I should have asked you this. Do you do the food per first and then the wine or the wine and then the, the food? You want uh, to take this? I just followed <laughs> you when you did it because I did think I did it wrong the first time. No, but then you I can did do, the pizza and then the wine. I like to have a sip of the wine first just to sort of like not think about it too get critically. Get it ready. Yeah, and just yeah. think, do I like this or not? Okay. Mm. And then I have a, a bite of the food and then yeah. the wine to sort of follow. 
Hey, listen, it's all going to the same place. <laughs> and the two but, things, it tastes very good together. There very are no nice rules. Pairing. You in, enjoy right? it however you please. There's yeah. no wrong way. Okay, finally, what do we have here? Okay, so we couldn't leave without uh, ending it off with something sweet. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> so we have a Brichetto d'Aqui, which is a sweet, sparkling red wine from Italy. Wow. Uh, and we're pairing it with some mini chocolate fudge donuts. Um, so one thing to remember when yeah. pairing wine with dessert, yeah. some people will make the mistake of having, you know, mm. champagne and French macaron, um, but you always want to make sure that the wine is sweeter than the food. If, Interesting. Yeah, if your food is sweeter than the wine, the wine's going to taste bitter and that's going to foil your pairing. Right. Uh, so we like this one in particular because it has a real punch of red fruit flavor, uh -huh. uh, sort of a jammy quality to mm -hmm. it, lots of like rich berry flavor. Mm -hmm. And I love chocolate covered strawberries or chocolate and berries, you know, together, and we feel like this with the chocolate fudge. Yes. Yeah. Yum. We should really hang out. Yeah. The stuff on your I like list is on my I like <laughs> list. Like you brought in fried chicken pizza and donuts. Like this is good. So right? very interesting. This is sweeter than I would expect it yeah. to be, yeah. but not in a cloying way. And, exactly. And that's the acidity, right? So the acidity helps to balance the sweetness and give it that refreshing feel. Yes. Yeah. Very nice. So is there anything you would want to tell folks when it comes to sparkling um, wine, or do you just tell them jump in and try? Jump in, you know, and, and explore the sparkling spectrum. There are so yeah. many different styles. As you can see here, it's not just champagne. It's not just Prosecco. There's red sparkling wine. There's, there's so much to explore. And yeah. so, you know, get out there, uh, see what you can find in your local shop, and uh, enjoy. This is new for me, the red sparkling wine. It's very, very good. It's delicious. So thank you, Jeff and Mike. So good. Remember to check out their book, Life is the Bubbles. It is an effervescent guide to sparkling wine. Thank you so much.